Here in Northeast Wisconsin, both Democrats and Republicans are weighing in today on whether the redactions inside the Mueller report were necessary. NBC26's Eric Crest has that story live in the newsroom. Eric? Tonight, some Wisconsin Democrats are pushing for a full version of the Mueller report, explaining that they're seeking the full truth. But there are also Republicans who are already going on record, saying it's time for Americans to move on. Dozens of pages of the Mueller report are redacted, at least part of the page blacked out. Attorney General William Barr says some of the details include sensitive information and classified intelligence. U.S. Senator Ron Johnson accepts the redactions. There was no evidence whatsoever of any American, no American, not in the Trump campaign, not in the Clinton campaign, not, no American, including with the Russians. We should be happy about that. We ought to be able to move on. But there are others who would like to see the full, unredacted report released to members of Congress. Wisconsin's Democratic U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin tweeting this, President Trump has not been exonerated. He is not cleared of wrongdoing. We need the full Mueller report, the full truth. It's important that people understand what was going on. And that sentiment echoed by a member of the Democratic Party here in Brown County. I think there are legitimate concerns about sources and methods when it comes to redacting information. But at the same time, um, we have to look at uh, precedent when it comes to these special counsel investigations. If there's nothing to hide, let's expose it all and give the full report to the public and Congress. The reasons that William Barr redacted things was classified material, uh, nothing harm, harmful to an active investigation, peripheral third parties should not be exposed. Um, so those were legitimate reasons for redaction. Keeping you connected with NBC 26. There was no collusion and there was no obstruction. I'm Eric Crest. And, we never did anything wrong. and you can read the redacted version of the Mueller report for yourself. It's up right now at NBC26.com.